16 returning starters, the Aztecs prepare for battle in search of the team's fourth consecutive season with 10 or more wins and ninth year playing in the postseason. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto in the Mountain West Network studio. Here's what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the San Diego State Aztecs. The Aztecs rushing attack will once again be set up for success with junior Jawan Washington taking over the throne. Following in the footsteps of a pair of back-to-back 2,000-yard -back rushers in Donnell Pumphrey and Rashad Penny, the featured back will lead an offense that accounted for 6,251 total yards a year ago. Even as the reserve, Washington recorded 759 yards for seven touchdowns and much like his successor, showed great potential on special teams with 14 kick returns that resulted in a pair of touchdowns. Well, you talk about expectation level. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm not Juwan Washington. Juwan's an outstanding running back and he will be our starter and he's going to get the ball anywhere from 20 to 30 times a game. And as long as the big boys up front block, he's going to have a heck of a year. Juwan's got a little mix of both. He's a little hybrid back. Um, he can he can do you know we've seen it in special teams, all that. Just like Penny, he can uh, he has that big uh, playability. So this year, I'm I'm excited to see him get those first string reps, get a lot of those reps, and see what we can do with him. Third-year starter Christian Chapman will prepare for his final season on the Mesa and needs just one win to become the winningest quarterback in San Diego State history. The QB's resume includes back-to-back -back Mountain West Championship victories in 2015 and 2016, as well as a pair of bowl wins in the respective years. Chapman's stellar passing career has produced a total of 4,303 yards for 35 touchdowns, and among active FBS quarterbacks, the California native ranks fourth in winning percentage. Uh, it means everything to me, um, especially being from San Diego. It's my community, it's my, it's my home. Um, being able to represent my city that way and you know accomplish what I've accomplished and bring a couple championships home uh, means everything to me. For my senior season, I just want to bring one more home and just finish it all out with a bang and hurrah. He's an experienced guy. He's a team guy first. He does what we ask him to do, and that, and that is to control the flow of the game. He gets us in good plays when we've called bad plays. He knows where to go with the football when we ask him to do that. He is very careful not giving the football away to the other team. The, the running back's a pretty good player, but he's not very good if he doesn't have an offensive line. Well, none of it works if you don't have a good quarterback, and everybody doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Ready to guide a scoring defense that ranked 21st nationally after allowing only 20.2 points per game a year ago is senior linebacker Romney Lakalaka. As a junior, Laka Laka led the team with 82 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, three sacks, and was a part of a unit that held opponents to 10 or less points on four different occasions. Well, I mean, there are certain things you don't teach as a coach, and they're called instincts. Some guys diagnose plays a whole lot faster than other guys, and he diagnoses plays very, very well. I mean, he, he's got some talent, but he also knows our system really well and where he fits and where he's supposed to be. So it gives him an opportunity to make a lot of plays. And I think he embraces that. I take a lot of pride in that. Uh, you know, there's a, it's a great tradition to be a part of. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to set a foundation for myself, you know, trying to be as great as them. You know, guys like Kirk Morrison, Calvin Monson, Jake Feely, and to actually learn, and learn from them and take what, what they did and use it on the field. Looking at the Aztecs' non-conference schedule, the team is set to face Stanford and Arizona State, two teams they had no trouble fighting off a year ago. Meanwhile, it will be a showdown for the best in the West when the team takes on Fresno State on November 17th. Ever since the conference established a championship game in 2013, the winner of this matchup has gone on to win the West Division and compete for the championship title. This conference is super competitive. Now Fresno just burst back on the scene two years ago. They won one game. Now they're back to where you know people knew Fresno. So having somebody on our side being that competitive, being that good of a competitor, but being our rival, uh, it's huge, uh, not just for us, but for this conference. And whoever wins that game is going to be probably going to the championship. The 2018 season is upon us. August 31st will come soon enough. They head on the road to Palo Alto 
to face Stanford. They beat two Pac-12 opponents, Stanford last year at home, and Arizona State on the road, so a tough task ahead of them this season as they face both of these opponents again in 2018. The offensive line, wildly inexperienced last year, but had a tremendous season blocking for Rashad Penny, NCAA football's leading rusher. Jawan Washington steps into those shoes to fill and has expectations on him. But after another 10-win season, the Aztecs look to continue on a tradition that Rocky Long has started on the Mesa. Thank you, Rich. San Diego State opens up the season when they pay a visit to Stanford on Friday, August 31st. This countdown to kickoff has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Cassie Soto.